Ajax were the dark horses in the 2018-19 Champions League. With a young squad, they slayed giants and were just a hair's breadth away from the final. Now, four years later, we want to look back at that 11 and see where they are right now. As always, we'll start with the keeper, Andre Onana. The Cameroonian goalkeeper stayed at Ajax until 2022, eventually leaving after seven and a half years at the club. He joined Inter Milan that summer and immediately became their starting keeper. In just his first season, he helped the club reach its first Champions League final in 13 years. Onana retired from international football after the 2022 World Cup following a disciplinary issue during the tournament, which caused him to be dropped just after the first game and sent home immediately. At right back was Nusair Mazraoui. He too remained at Ajax until 2022 when he joined Bayern Munich. On the international scene, he was part of that record-breaking Morocco team which became the first African or Arab nation to reach the semi-finals of the World Cup in 2022. At centre-back was the captain of the squad, Matthijs de Ligt. He was just 19 and he wore the captain's armband for that incredible team and became the youngest ever to captain a team in the Champions League knockout stages. He scored in the quarter-final against Cristiano Ronaldo's Juventus and helped Ajax reach the Champions League semi-final for the first time in 22 years. That year, he won the Copa Trophy and made both the UEFA Team of the Year and the FIFA Pro World XI. After what was a truly incredible season, we all swore he was going to be instantly picked up by one of the big clubs in Europe, but we were wrong. The defender remained at Ajax until 2022 when he secured a 77 million euro move to Bayern Munich. Pairing with De Ligt at centre-back that season was a more experienced Daly Blind, who had just moved to Ajax from Man United ahead of that season. He remained at Ajax until December 2022 when his contract was mutually terminated. He then joined Bayern Munich as a free agent in January 23. Boy, it seems that the people in charge at Bayern Munich were huge fans of that Ajax team. Anyway, left back that season was Nicolas Taliafico, and as much as we'd love to say he also moved to Bayern, he actually didn't. He stayed at Ajax until 2022 when he moved to Lyon on a three-year deal. On the club scene, Taliafico's life since then has been pretty unadventurous, but on the international scene, he has been living it up. He was part of what was the most successful two years in Argentina's history. He won the Copa America with the team in 2021, the Finalissima in 2022, and then closed 22 with the FIFA World Cup. Now, let's head into midfield. They had an experienced Lesse Shona who mostly sat deep in a double pivot midfield. Shona left the club immediately after that amazing season, but he didn't exactly move for greener pastures. Already 33, he took what was an apparent downgrade to Genoa in Italian Serie A. Ahead of the 2020-21 season, Shona discovered that his name was not included in the squad for the season, but he got this information just a couple of days before the closing of the summer transfer window, so he was unable to secure a move out of the club until January. He eventually terminated his contract with Genoa and left in January 2021, moving to Heronveen in the Netherlands. He stayed there until the end of the season before returning to NEC, the Dutch club he was playing for before he joined Ajax in 2012. Pairing with Shona in the double pivot was Frenkie de Jong. The Dutchman was one of the team's best players that season. He was named Eredivisie Player of the Season, Champions League Midfielder of the Season and was also named in the UEFA Team of the Year that season. The lad was so good that he was chased by the biggest clubs in Europe including PSG, Man City and Man United. He had discussions with all of them but as you know, it was Barcelona who he eventually chose. Again, he was so good that Barcelona couldn't wait until the end of the season to sign him. They had the transfer completed in January 2019, but he didn't move until July. The transfer was worth 75 million euros. Since joining Barca, FDJ has gone on to win every trophy available to be won in Spain. In 2022, Ten Hag tried so hard to convince De Jong to join him at Man United, but the Dutchman refused and stayed at Barcelona. To complete the midfield three, we have Donny van der Beek. An attacking midfield player, VDB was the main connection between the defence and the attack for Ajax that season. He scored against Juventus in the quarter-final of the Champions League and also scored the only goal of the semi-final first leg against Spurs. He then left Ajax in 2020, joining Manchester United for £40 million. We all expected the young midfielder to ball it in the Premier League 
but Ole refused to use him and his stock just continued to drop. In his second season at the club, he didn't start a single Premier League game, that's how bad it got. In January 2022, he was loaned out to Everton. It did start out well for him there, but injuries caused him to be sidelined for most of his time there. He returned to Man United in the summer of 2022, but injuries got the better of him again, so he hardly featured in the 2022-23 season. So although now reunited with his former manager, it's uncertain if VDB will ever hit those heights he reached in 2019. Now to the attack. On the right was Hakim Ziyech. The Moroccan was one of Ajax's most important players in that crazy Champions League run. First of all, he scored in the playoff round to get them into the competition. Then he scored home and away against Madrid to help knock out the defending champions and then assisted the only goal of the semi-final first leg. He moved to Chelsea in 2020 and helped them win the Champions League in 2021. That same year, he scored Chelsea's only goal in the UEFA Super Cup and helped the London club win the trophy for the first time in 23 years. He also won the FIFA Club World Cup with Chelsea in 2022, but his importance at the club since dwindled and we expect him to leave this summer. But while he might no longer be important at Chelsea, Ziyech is still very important for Morocco. After having initially announced his retirement from international football in February 22, due to the falling out with the coach, Ziyech returned to the team less than two months to the World Cup following the hiring of a new manager. He had three goal contributions for Morocco at the tournament as they went on to finish in fourth place, the highest position an African or Arab nation has ever finished in the history of the World Cup. On the left flank was David Neres. He was one of the players we all expected would get snatched up by a big club immediately, considering how young, skillful and prolific he was. He was only 22 that year and scored big goals for Ajax against Madrid and Juventus in the Champions League round of 16 and quarter-final respectively. But Neres stayed there until 2022, and it wasn't for a lack of interest from the big teams. Clubs like Man United and Atletico Madrid came calling in 2019, but the Brazilian opted to extend his contract with Ajax. It turned out to be not the wisest choice. He eventually left the club in January 22 and moved to Shakhtar Donetsk in Ukraine. The following month, the Russian invasion happened and the Brazilian footballers in Ukraine were seen pleading for intervention from the Brazilian government. In March, Neres was able to leave Ukraine and he made it to Romania. In June 2022, he moved to Benfica where he's currently playing. Finally, we have Dusan Tadic. He is literally the one guy on this list who is still at the club and currently captains the Ajax team. He won Eredivisie Player of the Season in 2021. Now, three quick honourable mentions before we go. First, Joel Veldman. He was never a starter, but he played his role. He secured a move to Brighton in 2020. Secondly, Rasmus Christensen, also not a starter. He moved to Salzburg in 2019 and then Leeds in 2022, where he got relegated this season. Finally, the coach, Eric Ten Hag. He won three more titles with Ajax after 2019 before moving to Man United in 2022. In his first season, he finished third in the league, won the EFL trophy and reached the final of the FA Cup. Pretty impressive. Which other team would you like us to do? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also turn on the bell notification so you never miss out on new content and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.